Have you ever thought about how much is the most expensive painting in the world? There are many paintings with a price tag of over United States dollars 1 million. But paintings are really expensive with a price starting from United States dollars 100 million for one painting. It is very difficult to really appreciate these masterpieces of world painting. Almost all authors of the most expensive paintings ever sold have passed away and won't be able to create something like this ever. And because of this the price of these paintings simply rose with time. So, in this video, we are talking about top 5 most expensive paintings in the world. 5. In the world. 5. Number 17A, 1948, Jackson Pollock, $200 million. Abstract expressionism was a post-World War II art movement that emphasizes the subconscious and spontaneous creation. Jackson Pollock's artwork belonged to this school of painting His dripping paint technique has its roots in the work of André Masson and Max Ernst, etc. This piece of abstract work was created sometime in 1948 and was featured in the 1947 Life magazine article that made the painting a household name. Done on fiberboard canvas using just oil paints, number 17A looks like a messy mirage of patterns and colors. However, a closer look highlights several layers to the painting that were lost on the viewer at a glance. The name number 17A is pretty formal and lacks creativity or uniqueness. Pollock intentionally deviates from naming his artwork as something fancy this only shuns light on the radically unique nature of the painting. The random patterns don't appear so vague once you observe them up close. In fact, Pollock's precise movement and artistic control can be tracked in the way the oil dripping painting is structured. The title of the painting number 17A is in stark contrast with its content. While the name is bland, the patterns depicted in the painting are anything but ordinary. Critics had very mixed reactions to the painting. It was met with great public scrutiny and hence not valued much in the art world. It was only much later in 2016 when the piece was purchased by billionaire art collector Kenneth C. Griffin for Aprox. $200 million, that number 17A was revived as the fourth most expensive painting ever sold in history. 4. Nafia Faa Apoipo, When Will You Marry, Paul Gauguin, $210 million. Paul Gauguin's 1892 painting is currently the most expensive painting in the world. His painting of two Tahitian girls smashed the world record in February 2015 when it was bought by the Qatar Museums from a private Swiss collector Rudolf Stechelin for an astounding United States dollars 300 million. It depicts two women against a natural landscape, one in a native dress and another in a colonial-style missionary dress symbolizing the fusion of Polynesian and European cultures. This painting was completed by Gauguin at around 43 when he had gone to Tahiti to escape all that was conventional and artificial in Europe. This painting had been on loan with the Basel Art Museum for over 60 years before being withdrawn from display by the seller and sold. Seemingly unimpressive, this artwork illustrates the authenticity of a rooted culture in a bygone era. 3. The Card Players, Paul Cezanne, $250 million. This painting held the record for the most expensive one in the world before the sale of When Will You Marry in 2015. The card players had been bought by the Qatari royal family from the Greek shipping magnate George Mbirikos for a whopping United States dollars 274 million in the year 2011. This painting is one of those classic images that you surely would not fail to recognize. It is an image that has been seen in coffee table books, luxury good magazines, and art history curricula for many years now. It makes up one of five pieces painted by Cezanne as part of his post-impressionist series completed between the early and the mid-1890s. This iconic image features two stony-faced men sitting at small wooden table playing cards. The painting style and the use of pastels are classic Cezanne with the subtle expressions on the faces beautifully conveying two players completely immersed in the game. A bottle of wine placed on the table adds to the impressive yet subtle detailing. It may interest you to know that the two models used for the painting were Cezanne's gardener and farmhand at his family estate. 2. Interchange, Willem de Kooning, $300 million. Interchange or Interchanged is an oil canvas painting by the Dutch-American painter William de Kooning who belonged to the school of abstract expressionism. The painting was the first of Kooning's abstract landscapes that were completed in 1955 and were influenced by Franz Klein's artistic style. Kooning spends the better part of his career studying and reworking the abstract female figures. 
it was only later that he deviated from painting human forms and ventured into replicating abstract images of his surroundings in downtown New York. The interchange was created at a time when both the private sphere of the artist and the art community at large were undergoing a gradual but massive change. De Kooning was financially stable and had the opportunity to make new choices, both professionally and personally. He thus moves away from his spontaneous wild paintings to more stable, sober, and tamed landscape pieces. Like any abstract work of art, even interchange appears to be vague and nonsensical at a glance. A closer observation reveals several layers to the painting. It symbolizes the transition that Kooning's life was undergoing at that time. It took over 11 years for the change to completely manifest itself creatively, the interchange was just the first of the many landscape portraits that followed. The Kooning who was known for violently attacking his canvases in vibrant colors was tamed to a gentler yet intuitive style. This aesthetic and textural shift that Kooning underwent in the mid-1950s also forms the foundation of surrealism that would later take the 21st century by storm. 1. Salvator Mundi, attributed to Leonardo da Vinci, $450,300,000. Salvator Mundi or Savior of the World was supposedly painted by Leonardo da Vinci, many critics believe otherwise. The painting presents Jesus Christ dressed in Renaissance garbs and bestowing benediction, his right hand raised with two fingers crossed, while holding a crystal ball in his left hand. The glass globe in his hand symbolizes crystalline spheres of the heavens, Christ is shown to be the savior of the world and the master of the cosmos. Leonardo was a Roman Catholic but still deviates from the traditional images of the brass golden globes with a crucifix to the crystal sphere. Some claim that it was a conscious attempt on his part to tie the physical and spiritual worlds together. Art enthusiasts claim that there are 20 different variants of the artwork, the original painting is lost. One such copy was recently restored and rediscovered to be the original work of Da Vinci by many leading scholars. The argument that they present is that the golden hair ringlets, the knot work crossing store, and the two fingers raised to bless mankind are all classic Da Vinci and not found in the other copies of Salvator Mundi. Salvator Mundi has a rags-to-riches story that's quite fascinating. The present owners of the painting acquired the piece in a very bad shape, the wooden panel was split into two and the canvas was reportedly repainted to hide the botched repair work. However, all said and done, Salvador Mundi is notably the last of Leonardo's works and hence very highly valued in the art community. What do you think from the video? If you have any questions or doubt please comment down below. If you haven't done so hit the like button, subscribe, and share our content. Make sure to keep watching our channel to know when this will be happening. Like, share, subscribe.